let me tell you the story about this bench. I had a customer come to me saying that she would like a custom bench built for her big entryway. So we used a queen size headboard and my brother did a really good job on this, I think. She wanted it painted white and so we tried to accommodate, but she never showed back up. She never claimed this bench. So that's a lesson learned. Always take some money ahead of time uh, to do custom work. So anyway, lesson learned. I thought it's been in the store for two years now and nobody seems to want to buy it. Maybe it's too big, I don't know. But I thought I would try a different color on it and, and see if that helps. So I'm using Annie Sloan's Rodmel. It's a new color for her and I'm excited to see what it looks like. I think it will look nice um, with some white underneath. I'll do a wet distressing technique on it. And I also just bought her paintbrush. I've never had Annie Sloan's brand before and I've never used such a big brush before. So I'm excited to see how that works. I think I should be able to cover a lot of territory with that. Um, so I'll let you know if I think it's worth the big bucks that you have to spend to get it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the process. I love Annie's paint, but I do not like her lids. Ah, looks pretty. Peace. 
how do you like this color? I like it a lot and I really like the way this bench turned out. Although I have gotten a similar color when I mix Napoleonic Blue and Emperor's Silk together. So you can make your own purple, but it is convenient just to get it out of a can as well. And about the brush, uh, I found that it got really heavy when once paint got on it, so you don't want to use it all day. And it was not the most convenient brush for this project because I had to use a smaller brush to get in some of the tight corners and things, so it's not convenient for small spaces. But it would be a dream for large buffets or china cabinets or dressers, so that would make it a lot faster. So I do recommend it. Although the first time using it, I had about a dozen uh, bristles fall out, and that's always annoying. But anyway, um, I'm glad I purchased it. I don't know that you need such a big one. I would get a smaller one um, if you're not big into painting, but that's just my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I make lots of videos of my furniture makeovers. I really enjoy doing it. So subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you for watching.